Hello everyone, it's Miss LaRose. This project video is based off of the work of French Impressionist painter Claude Monet. Claude Monet is best known for his paintings of water lilies that were planted in his expansive and very impressive gardens. He painted water lily paintings for 20 years and they can be seen in museums all over the world. For this project, we're going to be using a paper pa plate as the base, and I'm painting mine blue because ponds have water in them, so the blue represents the water. I'm also going to add a little bit of purple in it just because I like purple as a accent color to the water. It makes it a little bit darker in some areas. so. If you want, you can add a little bit of purple, or you can add a little bit of green to it and make it more of a tealy blue, if that's what you like. Now, you don't have to paint a paper plate blue. This is just one way that we can make the water for our pond. If you have tissue paper to paint, we can also use tissue paper to create the water for our pond. So, for this method, I'm just making sure I make it nice and blue, and I want it to be kind of cloudy and soft color so that the surface of my pond looks a lot like impressionistic painting, which is very soft in color, kind of soft and blurry, and not very clear and precise. I am also twisting my plate around, letting that color run around all over the place just to make it look a little bit more like the surface of water. So once you get it to a point where you like the color, then you can set it aside to dry. The other way to do this is to just use tissue paper instead of a paper plate, and this is white tissue paper that I'm going to be painting. If you have colored tissue paper, you can use that as well, if you just have regular blue. Um, I like to use the tissue paper because, again, it gives it the look of the surface of water, especially if it's a little bit crinkly. So this is going to be what I use for my water. If you don't have tissue paper but you can make your plate be blue, you can do that as well. I wanted to give you a couple different options. So another thing I'm doing is adding some green to the surface of my water. That's going to make it look like lily pads. And I am going to be layering some other tissue paper on top of this so that it will have the lily pad layering and as well as the reflection of the lily pad on the water which is what these green marks represent. So you're going to paint your tissue paper and again like the plate set it aside and let it dry. Next we're going to be making some details for the pond. We're going to need some colored tissue paper. The first thing I'm going to do is make a fish. I am folding this little square into a skinny rectangle and then I'm going to twist part of the middle towards the end in order to make the tail for my fish. Now if you want to leave it like this you can. I like to take some scissors and cut it so it's a little bit wavy on the end, so it looks more like a fin. And that is 
is just going to be a very simple little fish that can live in our pond. Just as an example, let's set it down on the plate so we can see the pond take shape. The next part we're going to do is make a lily pad. I'm just going to draw a circle with a little notch in the side, similar to Pac-Man, but not that big, and then cut that out. And if you don't have tissue paper for this, you can use any other color paper. You could even take white paper and color it the color you need it to be first, if that's something that you could do. Um, I'm using tissue paper for this project because it kind of has the similar effect as impressionistic painting. The next thing I'm going to do is create a flower. I'm pinching the middle of my rectangle of tissue paper and I'm going to fold up the edges and twist the bottom to gather it all together. And then I'm going to use a pair of scissors to trim the top and make some petals. Now you don't have to do the petals. There's a couple different ways to do flowers. So this pink one, I'm going to cut little strips not all the way through, just small little cuts at the top, and those are going to be like the petals of a water lily. And I'll fluff them out, and there we have a flower. There's another way you can do this, and I'm going to use a piece of purple paper for that. Just do the same thing to start, pinch it in the middle, twist it, and fluff up the ends. So there's my fluffy part twisting the bottom. And this one I'm just going to trim the extra long pieces off and this is going to be a different type of water lily. So it's not going to have lots of individual petals. It's just going to be a small flower. Now I'm going to make two small lily pads at the same time by folding a piece of tissue paper in half and I'm going to do the same thing, a circle with a notch, but this one is smaller than my first one. So I'm just cutting around it and you can always cut the circle part first and then cut the notch in last if you want. So there's a couple different ways to make lily pads. So here are my two small ones. And now that I have all my pieces created, I can lay them out. That's one way it might look. Uh, the next step is to create the surface of the pond. If you did not paint your sheet blue, uh, you can use the blue on the plate or you can just have a sheet of tissue paper that's painted and you can put that on the plate. There's two different options here. I like the look of the tissue paper, so I'm using the tissue paper for the surface of my pond. I'm going to cut the circle out, but make it a little bit wider than the trace of the plate so that I know I can glue it down and it'll fit. Don't worry about making the edges super matched up. Leave a little bit of gap between where the edge of the plate is and where you're cutting. It doesn't have to match up perfectly. which side looks best. I like this side better. And that's going to be the surface of my pond. The plate is going to just provide structure at this point. If you don't have the tissue paper, just use the plate as your pond. Before I glue everything down, I really like to make sure that everything fits where I like it and make some decisions about the layout because as long as it's not glued together, I can keep changing it. So figure out how you like it to look before you glue. You don't even have to use all the pieces you made. Maybe you made more than one fish. Maybe you made four lily pads or three flowers or even less. Pick out your arrangement before you glue. The first thing I'm going to glue down is my tissue paper. Now if you do not have the tissue paper for the surface of your water, just glue it right onto the plate. Uh, you can just use your plate as the water surface. I like the tissue paper look though. You can kind of change this project based on what you like and what supplies that you have available. If you had blue paper that was already blue, you could even use that if you wanted to. 
now it's just time to glue on all my little extra details. My fish, my lily pads, my flowers. I'm going to set them where I want them and glue them in place. Once everything is glued down, then you're finished. 